signals. Now, coming to the performance of the transmission. So, up to now, uh, we have been discussing about the tools of transmitting data over a network and how the data behave. But now, the issue in networking is the performance and how good it is. So, we shall discuss quality of service and overall measure of network performance with the help of various factors. Number one is bandwidth. So, one characteristic that measures the network performance is bandwidth. However, the term can be used in two different contexts with two different measuring values. One is bandwidth in hertz, another one is bandwidth in bits per second. How do they differ? Let us see. Bandwidth in hertz. Bandwidth in hertz is the range of frequencies contained in a composite signal or the range of frequencies a channel can pass. For example, we can say a bandwidth of subscriber telephone line is 4 kilohertz. What is bandwidth in bits per second? So, the number of bits per second that a channel, a link or even a network can transmit. Number of bits per second. So, we can say one, uh, the bandwidth of a fast Ethernet, Ethernet network is maximum 100 Mbps. So, this means that this network can send 100 Mbps. That is... Uh, megabits per second so let us see some examples of these bandwidth the bandwidth of a subscriber line is 4 kilohertz for voice or data the bandwidth of this line for data transmission can be up to 56,000 bits per second using a sophisticated modem to change the digital signal to analog so here we have used bandwidth in both the contexts. And example 2 says, if the telephone company improves the quality of the line and increases the bandwidth to 8 kilohertz from 4 kilohertz, we can send 1,12,000 BPS by using same technology as mentioned in example 1. So, the bits per second increases much more with the change in the bandwidth frequency so this is bandwidth and how do we calculate throughput with this idea of bandwidth the throughput is the measure of how fast we can actually send data through the network this is what we want so although at the first glance Bandwidth in bits per second and throughput seems to be the same. Are they same? No. They are different. How are they different? Let us see. For example, we may have a link with a bandwidth of 1 Mbps. But the devices connected to the end of the link may handle only 200 Kbps. This means that we cannot send more than 200 Kbps to this link. So at that time... 200 kbps becomes the throughput whereas 1 mbps is the bandwidth this can be uh, uh, compared with an example of a road a highway which is decided to transmit 1000 cars per minute from one point to another however if there is congestion on the road this figure may be reduced to 100 cars per minute so the bandwidth is 1000 cars per minute but the throughput is only 100 cars per minute. Hope you have understood throughput. What is the formula? So let us see that with an example. A network with bandwidth of 10 Mbps can pass only an average of 12,000 frames per minute with each frame carrying an average of 10,000 bits. So 12,000 frames, 10,000 bits. So we multiply that and we get the total number of bits and that is per minute so divided by 60 so we get 2 mbps which is the throughput so the throughput is almost 1 by fifth of the bandwidth in this case so bandwidth is 10 mbps so bandwidth is no way related to 
the throughput but we can have it for comparison to see how much it has been utilized then comes latency which is much more important latency or delay defined how long it takes for an entire message to completely arrive at the destination from the time the first bit is sent out from the source so this is also important we can say that latency is made of four components propagation time transmission time queuing time plus processing delay so what are these individual components propagation time measures the time required for bit to travel from source to destination the propagation time is calculated by dividing the distance by the propagation speed distance by propagation speed so example what is the propagation time if the distance between two points is 12000 km assume the propagation speed to be 2.4 into 10 to the power of 8 meter meters per second in cable so when it's two cable that is the speed so how do we calculate propagation time distance by speed so uh, distance is 12000 kilometers into 1000 for converting it into meters divided by 2.4 into 10 to the power of 8 that's equal to 50 milliseconds so this example shows that a bit can travel over Anta Atlantic Ocean uh, in only 50 milliseconds if there is a direct cable between the source and the destination uh, distance of 12,000 kilometers okay. so understood what is propagation time now we should calculate the transmission